What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and be sure to tick that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. This week, we've been here for one year and one month. We'll take you inside and show you what we've done with 5,000 square feet of craft warehouse space. All right, when you first walk in, you walk right into our DIY workshop space. So this is where we hold all of our DIY workshop classes. This is the first room you walk into and we hold weekly classes here. Most of the projects you see on our channel become projects in our classes. This space used to be a little rascal showroom. It looked like an office space. It had those corporate carpet squares and gray walls. So if you watched our makeover video, you know that we pulled up those carpet squares, we added some flooring, we added some paneling, we did a faux brick German schmear wall for accent walls, we added our little paint shelves. Over here we added our showcase wall where we have all of our door rounds that we're doing for this season uh, up on the wall. You can shop from that wall and they're also used as examples for when you're making a door hanger workshop. We've held over 30 workshop classes and everybody leaves happy. It's always a good time. This room is a good time. Now, let's move into our paint room. Uh, before we head into the paint room, we don't have a sponsor, so we thought we'd sponsor ourselves. Actually, we're being sponsored by our Patreons. Yes, you can join us over on patreon.com. Kim and Garrett make it. We offer additional content. Uh, there's a lot of fun to be had over there, extra videos, outtakes, there's three different tiers, a top tier patrons get all the goodies, SVGs, Zoom calls, t-shirts, come and join us, check us out, it's a lot of fun. And this is the paint room, it's actually the everything room, our meeting room, our paint room, this is where we made over 3,000 signs that we sell at the craft shows. Yeah, this has become the hub of our operation. This is like your kitchen island right here. We all hang out in here. This is kind of where everybody ends up congregating throughout the day. Uh, we do a lot in here. Like we said, this is where we hold our workshop space, but we tell folks, when you're done with your door side, bring it on down to Bowtown. While this looks like nothing much right now, We've got big plans for Bowtown. You guys have seen the video for our rolling ribbon rack. We're gonna add more ribbon storage and make it a fun place to come and add the bows for your projects. She's probably done 3,500 bows over here at this <laughs> Bowtown between the craft shows for the finished products and our DIY workshop classes where we make a bow for everybody to sign before they head out. I'm gonna say like 3,500, maybe 4,000 bows have been made over here. Yeah, bow hands. And then over here we brought out both our OM Tech Polar Laser and our Glow Forge. We took them out of our video area and put them into the public space. Yeah, we want to start offering classes and show folks what you can do with these lasers and how they work. This is our main office. This is me and Garrett's office. This is where all the design magic happens, our little imagination studio. This is where Garrett makes all of his designs. We manage our business. We haven't done anything to this room except pack it full of junk. <laughs> oh, one thing, we did add our uh, final shots. Our product photo area. <laughs> yeah. Very our crude. Kind of little, <laughs> our photo wall over here. Uh, it used to be out front, but we ran out of space out front. So, we had extra space in our office, so now this is where we take our final shots of our photos before we post them on our website. You like my minimalist desk? <laughs> and across the hall is Courtney's office. She needs a, a door plaque. So for most of the year, this was a kitchenette, but we needed better use of our space. <laughs> Yeah, Left there's still remnants the kitchenette. of kitchenette. <laughs> but we needed more space, so this has become Courtney's office. And we moved the kitchenette outside. We'll show you where we moved that and what we did with that space. This is where she answers all of your comments, your emails, anything about wholesale. Manages that's, our that's Patreon t-shirts. Oh, the Patreon t-shirts. This is our shipping space. <laughs> Nothing exciting. 
boxes, scales, and shipping things. For the first half of this year, this was Courtney's office and Tanner's office. They split the space, but it didn't take long for that summer heat <laughs> to force shipping from outside in the warehouse, which has no AC, into a room that has some AC, where Tanner could get a little relief from the heat. So we moved shipping in here into an air conditioned room. We booted Courtney out. We booted Tanner's desk out and now it's a shipping room. You guys want to peek behind the curtain? So while we've done a lot around this space, we haven't completed all of our projects. This room was just an open doorway already here between these two spaces. This is actually our filming room. Uh, and this is the only door that we have. It's still a curtain. <laughs> Wait, this is a TBD project. It's a soundproof. <laughs> I'm sure you recognize this space on this side. It's always clean. We'll put some new paper up. You get a sign to look at. But on the other side, it's a totally different story. You guys want to peek behind the camera? Let's, let's look at the other side. This side is not so neat. It's very crowded. It's very messy. There's leftover projects and remnants from every project we did. And currently there is a DTF printer in parts. This is gonna be Tanner's new area. Tanner's got a new desk. He's gonna start editing. And uh, this is the setup he went with. Now one of the projects we're gonna start this year with is we're gonna move our filming studio or our filming space from that side of the room to this side of the room. That side actually backs up to the warehouse and it's pretty noisy over there. So we're gonna move everything to this side. We're gonna give it a whole new wall, a whole new look. It's a- Something cool. Yeah, a fun project we're gonna film. Take it to another level. And then we'll put Tanner back on that side of the room and then hopefully clean it up and make it look a little nicer in here. Hopefully clean it up. All right, let's head into the warehouse and see where all the work gets done. This is where the work doesn't get done. This is our little break area, break room that we made. So some place where we can come and chill out and not be caught up in the mix of the, the workshop classes or painting. And this is where we moved our kitchen. So it was in Courtney's office space. Now we moved it out here. We put our little refrigerator, toaster oven, microwave, right here next to our little break room space. We made a little warehouse cafe. Yeah. You yeah. come you can Do come you recognize out. Recognize this from Christmas time? You can escape. It feels like you actually went to like a Starbucks. <laughs> Practically a Starbucks. Practically out a here. Starbucks. <laughs> the rest of the area is more warehousey. It's where we store old projects. So we try and keep this side of the warehouse. There's two sides to this warehouse. We try and keep this side open. This is where all of our shipments come in through this door. So we need space to get the wood in and load it up over there. We do have a lot of these rolling racks uh, on wheels so that we can move things around in case we change it up because we do often rearrange things. Uh, there's two racks over here that has all of our leftover project materials. And then this is more shipping materials or shipping supplies. And you'll notice these are two of our hanging planters that we had for the farmer's market a couple of years ago. They didn't sell, so we ended up turning them into extra shelving space <laughs> for packing boxes and packing materials. And of course, we have all of our leftover inventory. These are wagons are full of signs and inventory left over from the fall and the Christmas season. One of the projects we're gonna be working on very soon this year is a place to store our out of season inventory, a way to put those along this wall and get them out of the way so that we can start bringing in and making new inventory for our spring and summer craft shows. All of the MDF comes in through this door. It comes in in big four by eight sheets. We usually get 25 to 30 in a stack. We use a manual pallet jack that the lumber company makes fun of us about because we're a small business. We don't have money for a forklift, so we do it all manual. Well, we went to pick up a load of wood one day and they were laughing at us and said, oh, you guys are the ones with the manual pallet jack. And we're like, yeah, but what they don't know, joke's on them. 
That's way better than when we used to pull it off the truck one by one using our bare hands. <laughs> yeah, that was a nightmare. We stack all the four by eight sheets on top of each other right where they come in. And then as we get an order, we'll pull a sheet of MDF, we'll throw it on the panel saw, we'll rip it down to the size of our laser bed. We have a stop block so we don't even have to look. We just run it in until it hits the stop block. We cut it, then we bring it into the tent. Now we had to use this tent because during the summer here in Richmond, it would get to be 100 degrees with a humidity of 100%. And that is not good for the air compressor or the laser tubes. We use this giant party tent with some AC units to keep the humidity down. And then we have all of our lasers on the network and we have them routed into a wireless router. And then we can use one laptop to run one instance of light burn and send all of the cut files to each one of the lasers. We also have all of our exhaust daisy chained using dust collection fans, and we pump them all the way down to a giant dust collecting fan, which then kicks it out of our one hole in the building. That's the end of the tour. We've shown you our workshop space. We showed you where we do our painting. We showed you where we do our shipping, our filming, and our cutting. All right, well, we are about out of time, so it's time to wrap this tour up. We've done a lot over the past year, but we're looking forward to even more projects in 2023. So stick around so we can show you what we have planned for this year. And we'll see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Now, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here.